Midnight in the Gotham City Art Museum. In a dimly lighted hall is a glass display case holding a lovely golden cat statue. A museum guard hears a meow, draws his gun. Who's there? A cat on nine tails knocks the gun from his hand. A cat costume figure springs. The guard calls unconscious. The figure flees with the cat statue. At Wayne Manor the next morning, a phone call interrupts Bruce and Dick's game of three-dimensional chess. We suspect the Catwoman, Commissioner Gordon tells Bruce. It was one of the two golden cat statues belonging to Mark Andres, the multimillionaire. Bruce hangs up. To the bat poles, he tells Dick. The two slide down to their secret bat cave beneath the house. screeched to stop at police headquarters and Batman and Robin leap out. Gordon was discussing the case with Chief O'Hara as they entered. We believe the Catwoman will strike again, said Gordon. Andrews owns two of these cats, so the second is loaned to the Gotham City Exposition until tonight. So if Catwoman is going to steal that one, she'll do it tonight, exclaimed Robin. <laughs> in the downtown alley stood an innocent-looking fur warehouse, but inside it, what a strange office. Feminine decor, an ornate desk, a cat-shaped telephone, on the desk, two golden pedestals, one holding the cat statue stolen from the museum the previous night, the other empty, awaiting the statue's twin. Behind the desk, a beautiful woman, lithe and sleek, dressed in a skin-tight cat costume, black leotard, boots, long gloves with claws. She was speaking to men in tiger shirts. Leo, did you get the books? Yes, cat woman, said the taller of the two men. He brought a carton of books and laid them on her desk. I'll get the other cat and rid myself of Batman and Robin in one paw stroke, she purred. The man left. She selected a volume, turned to a particular page, and compared the golden cat with a picture. She smiled. The Batmobile zoomed into the Batcave, where Alfred, Batman's faithful butler, was busy tidying up. Please help Robin with the atomic power cable, Alfred, said Batman. As they plugged the cable into the reactor, Batman mixed some chemicals. Alfred, please attach a pressure can to this outlet tube. You see, Alfred, Robin exclaimed, we're sending a cat trap for Catwoman in case she makes off with the second statue tonight. We spray this radioactive mist on an object, and we can trace it on the batometer. We'll find the battle meet. We'll find her and the statue. A few minutes later, the Batmobile roared up to Gotham City Exposition. Two Cape Crusaders bought their tickets at the book. They passed through the gate. The ticket taker picked up the portafone and spoke softly. They're here, Catwoman. It was night, and the exposition had closed. Batman and Robin were alone in the dim, eerie Hall of Culture. In an alcove surrounded by Mayan burial sarcophagi, was a stand holding the second golden cat of Mark Andrews. Batman strayed the statue. There, it's done. He looked at his watch. Time to check the exits. I'll be back in three minutes and twenty seconds. He walked briskly away. Behind the boy wonder, the lid of one of the sarcophagi began to silently to open, open, open. And Catwoman came padding noiselessly out. She sprang at him. Holy cats, blurted Robin. Her glove claw scratched his arm. Instantly, he became dizzy and toppled to the floor, clawing weakly into his communicator. Batman, help! Batman, in a distant hallway, heard the cry on his communicator and raced swiftly back. He found Catwoman clutching the golden cat. But Robin, where was he? You feline devil, snarled the fall of felons. What have you done with Robin? Now is that a way to greet an old friend, taunted the Catwoman. Teach him some manners, fellows. Her henchmen, Leo and Felix, came bounding in. You hit him high, Leo, I'll hit him low, called Felix. Zap, Batman peppered their peaks. Pow, with potent punches. He knocked Leo thwack against his sarcophagus. The door swung open, and an unconscious Robin tumbled out. Come on, Cat, let's get out of here, said Catwoman. And the three criminals fled with the golden statue as Batman knelt by his young cohort. Later at her desk, Catwoman laid the two golden cats side by side, covered them with a sheet of paper, and traced a pattern. Back in the Batcave, Batman poked a universal antidote to pill down Robin's throat. The boy stirred. Easy now, Robin, said Batman. You were drugged with catechol. You'll be okay. As he climbed back into the car, Robin asked, Did you get the cat? Yes, Robin, just as I planned. The batometer scream on the dashboard was pulsating. All we do is follow the blips and we're on the Catwoman's trail. Batman, you're heading into a trap. <laughs> the blips led them to the fur warehouse. Blasting their way in with a bat beam, they heard a door click shut behind them. Trapped. Catman's voice came from a hidden speaker. Good evening, Batman and Robin. I have a wonderful night planned. Things happened fast. Sharp spikes popped out of the walls. The walls moved toward them. Holy ice picks, said Robin. But Batman felt the spikes. They bent. Rubber. Ha ha, laughed Catwoman. A panel opened. A hand threw in a bomb. Pop. 
It gave off smoke, but didn't explode. A little flag popped out bearing the word meow. You have to admit that was funny, Batman, she said. Now wave bye-bye to Robin. A clear plastic tube came down over the boy wonder, and he was sucked up, whoosh, out of sight. You feline devil, said Batman. She spoke again into the microphone. Batman, are you a betting person? I never gamble, he said stiffly. This time you'll have to. In front of you are two doors. I'll stand behind one of them. Behind the other is a ferocious tiger. Which door, Batman, the lady, or the tiger? He hesitated, reaching for the door at the right. The door swung open and, catastrophe, a tremendous tiger sprang out of the Gotham City crime buster. Wrong choice, Batman. Will Batman ever see Robin alive again? Will Robin ever see Batman alive again? Will our daring duo escape the claws of the wily Catwoman? Tune in for the thrilling conclusion. Same bat time, same bat channel.